Hello and welcome to JavaScript Evangelist. So this video is part of our series React and Redux Shopping Cart. And if you haven't watched the previous video, please make sure to do that first. Cause in the last video, we just created the Redux store, but we did not connect it uh, to our components. So if you look at this components uh, rendering the products list, it is just coming from our static data file. And the missing part is the cart items and so we are going to just do that so we are going to connect our app as a container and load the uh, cart from the cart reducer so let's just get started by cloning this project and there is going to be have another folder called container so what's the difference between containers and components so components are basically dumb uh, they just receive data via props sent by their parents that's why they are dumb components and we have something called containers. So containers are just the components which are connected to Redux. So we are going to do just that. Uh, so we are going to connect this app component to our Redux via a method called connect. And connect is a function or a method provided to us by React and Redux. Okay. And React and Redux is a package which we installed in the one of the earlier videos. So the connect method expects that you should pass two functions over here. The first function is map state to props and second function is map actions to props. But we are going to do that in next video. But in the this video, we are just simply going to connect our app component to the connect. So this is kind of a closure method. And that's it. So our app is now a container. And let's see if this is working fine as well. I'm going to rename this app.js into app underscore container. Okay. And let's see uh, if we are using the right file underscore container or JS. And let's see if this is working fine. Okay. So we are missing products and the data into the app container. Okay, so, so far so good, uh, but the important part is still remaining that we have to connect our cart reducer to the app container. So let's just do that. So I'll go to Redux, Reducers and Cart Reducers. So, so far we just have an empty state over here. So let's just add some initial data over here, which we can get from our products JS. I just need this array over here, which is going to be the cart initial state. And I'm going to call it initial state. Okay. And I'm simply going to pass it as initial state over here. Save this file. And just for now, ignore the products.js. This all going to be changed. And this, all this methods over here, they're going to be turned into action creators. And as well, this is going to get deleted, but we'll look at that part in next video. But just for now, the important thing is be, a, be aware that state.cart, we are not using it over here in any way. All right. So this is basically unused. And so we have the initial state loaded to our cart reducer and cart reducer is being called inside our combined reducers as a cart. So if we call for the global state, so we have to receive the global state, right? So we have to write a function over here called map state to props. So this function right here is basically telling, hey, I need the entire state, but out of the entire state, I don't need everything. So I re I'll receive entire state over here, but I just need few things from it. So more specifically, I'm going to read cart, which I'll receive from state dot cart. So that is what we have spent specified into our combined reducers. So cart is this key over here. Okay. And we can even write it in the short form just like this. And we can simply return our cart like this. All right. Now this will be available to our app component as a prop. 
when we pass the function over here like this. And let's see if we are receiving it or not. Okay, I'm just going to do a console log over here. And I'm just going to say this dot props dot cart. Okay, and I'll just say uh, cart from state. So far, no errors, but let's just see the console log. Yes, perfect. We are connected to our reducer, which is the cart reducer over here. And let's just simply uh, load this uh, cart into our cart list. But hey, we don't have a cart list here. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to create a new folder over here called inside the dam components folder. Basically, this is the components. I'm going to create a new folder over here called cart. Inside cart, I'm going to have a two files. First is cart list.js and another is cart item.js. Inside cart list, I'm simply going to use tachyons and I've already loaded this file over here. So we are going to use this as a, um, as a cart. I've just copy pasted this HTML into cart list and I did not import react over here. Let's just quickly do that. If you look at this HTML over here, so we cannot use class. So we have to use class name. So quickly add, rename the class to class name. Okay, and I'm going to do export default over here. And just import this cart list into our app container. Let's see if it is rendering fine. Yes, it is. So, so far uh, we have a cart uh, showing up over here, uh, but we need to connect our cart list to so basically we need to pass this cart to our cart list as a props and our cart list uh, we are going to delete everything from here okay and we are going to receive props over here called const Okay, from this dot props and we need to map this list to our cart. Uh, quickly, I'm quickly going to uh, extract this into uh, a cart component. So since this is just a small component, I'm just going to have it over here. But <laughs> in your project, keep the file separate. So this guy will not receive cart, but he will receive the item needed from this. So let's see what is the default things that we are passing to our reducers. So we have a name, description, IMG. Okay, so name, description, IMG, price and units. Just pass it over here. Over here, we are going to have, uh, so basically on the right side of the card, we are going to have buttons. So this buttons is basically will be plus and minus. So if you want to increase your uh, units of the current product, so I'll just say plus and I'll also have a button called minus. Okay, so let's just pass this card item over here and I'm going to map the card, card dot map. I receive an item which is being passed to the cart item and I'm just going to spread it over here like this item and of course we have to pass a key called item.id all right so so far so good let's see okay we did not close this and let's see if it is rendering fine okay cart is not defined this dot props dot cart okay 
and let's see if it, everything is working fine yes perfect so we have this banana <laughs> and which is a face of a cat and this image let's see if it is correctly coming yes so right now it says it's coming from tachyons and let's see what is the image that we have passed to our car reducer so yeah this is that image all right so this is what we have done in this video uh, simply created a cart and we are connected it to our app container all right and we now know the difference between dumb components and smart components so smart components are the containers so in the next video we'll work on the reducers using the actions all right so that's it from this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel Thank you.